Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from circle theorems. In the above figure, AC is a diameter of the circle, AB is equal to BC, angle AED is equal to 118 degrees. Calculate angle DEC and angle DAB. So we have to find out two missing angles over here. So let us start with the first angle where we have to find angle D. E, C. That is this small angle. So to find the value of this angle, let us make use of a circle theorem which is given as angle in a semicircle. So this circle theorem states that angles formed by drawing lines from the ends of the diameter of a circle to its circumference always form a 90 degree angle. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle and AB acts as a diameter that is it passes through the center of the circle and if we make an angle from these two points of the diameter anywhere on the circumference of the circle it always forms a 90 degree angle so it doesn't matter whether you form here or you can also form the angle over here this way so even this angle is going to be 90 degree so let us make use of this theorem to solve the example above. Now here in the question it was given that AC is the diameter of the circle and we can see that the diameter AC forms an angle on the circumference of the circle at point E. So here the angle E is going to be 90 degrees that is by using the angles in the semicircle theorem. So this entire angle E was given as 118 degree and out of that this small angle is going to be 90 degree. So the remaining angle is going to be 118 degrees minus 90 degree. So that is going to give us a value of 28 degrees. So we have the value of angle DEC as 28. That is by using angles in the semicircle theorem. Now let us look at the next question. Find angle DAB. So let us check angle DAB. So here we are going to find angle D, A and B which is this bigger angle. Now here I have removed the 118 degree which they had given and I have split it up as 90 degree over here and 28 degree which we got in first part of this question. Now to find this part of the angle A, I am going to make use of the triangle ABC. So let me highlight over here. Now using the theorem which we learnt just now, that is angles in a semicircle is 90 degree, we can say that angle ABC is also going to be 90 degree because AC is a diameter and it is making an angle on the circumference of the circle at point B. So this is 90 degree and in the question they have given that AB is equal to BC. That means if we take this as angle X, we are going to take this also as angle X because it makes an isosceles triangle. Two sides are equal. Now by using the angle sum property of the triangle, we can write angle A plus angle B plus angle C is 180 degree. So here we are going to write angle A is X plus angle B is 90 plus angle C is X, they will all sum up to 180 degree. So here we can add the X, so X plus X is 2X and taking 90 on the other side of equal to sign, we get 180 minus 90 and this is 2X is equal to 90 degree or X is equal to 90 degree over 2 which is 45 degrees. That means we have angle A as 45 and angle C as 45. So let me write over here. Now we are trying to find out the angle DAB. That is this entire angle. And out of that we have found out this part. Now we have to concentrate on the small angle DAC now. So to find this angle we are going to use a second circle theorem which is given as angles in the same segment. It states that angles in the same segment are equal. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle and there are two points on the circle that is A and B. These two points divide the entire circle into two segments. One is this larger part which you see 
this is called as a major segment and there is a smaller part in between these two points which we call it as a minor segment. Now using these two points I am going to draw some angles in the major segment. You can draw n number of angles. So I am going to draw only three angles over here. Now according to the given theorem it states that angles in the same segment are equal. So all these three angles over here, over here and over here are made in the major segment. So if I consider this angle as 20 degrees, then the rest two angles are also going to be 20 degrees. So let us see how we can make use of this theorem to solve the example above. Now if we look at this diagram, let us consider the two points as D and C. So these two points divide the entire circle into two segments. One is the larger segment which covers the point E, A and B and one is the smaller segment which is in between C and D. Now these two points make an angle in the major segment at point E and at point A as you can see over here. Now we had calculated the value of angle E in part A of this question and we had got it as 28 degrees. So here using the theorem that is angles in the same segment are equal, we can say that angle A is also going to be 28 degrees. That is by considering the points C and D. So here we had found out the value of this part of angle A as 45 degree. Now the total angle DAB is just the sum of these two angles. So we can write here 28 degrees plus 45 degree. So this will give us a value of 73 degrees. So the angle DAB is 73. So here in part 1 of the question we used the angles in the semicircle theorem. And for second part we used angles in the semicircle theorem and angles in the same segment theorem. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving this example do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.